Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is because your girl is back again with another video. Hey! So, as you can see by the title, I'm doing a braid and go today. Um, I saw this on Hazel Goddess's YouTube. She did it like a few months ago or something and I just thought, are people doing this? I, I haven't seen any south african youtuber do it or try it maybe they do and they haven't posted it but i haven't seen anyone try it so i thought you know what let me try this out um so basically what the braid and go is is half braided half wash and go vibes so that's what we're trying i'm not sure what it's gonna turn out like but i'm hoping for the best so i'm gonna be using one brand for my entire wash day and styling process and it's the perfect hair so I'm not going to talk much about the products itself um, during the styling process and all of that. I'm going to talk about my thoughts and give my review on all of the products I use at the end of the video. So that we don't talk too long in between, you know what I mean? We get things done. So without anything left to say or to do, let's get set into today's video. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair as usual and I use the Perfect Hairs um, shampoo and conditioner. This is what they look like. Okay, So it's their Soap Free Silky Soft Shampoo and their Detangling Deep Conditioner. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking too much about it. I'm going to mention everything at the end but this is what I use to cleanse and condition my hair. Then, what I always do next is divide and conquer because that's the only way we get this hair done fast, nice, neat, clean, whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to section my hair up. So based on the video that I actually saw from Hazel Goddess, I think she had about eight, eight braids like with the wash and go ends. Um, I think I'm probably going to have a bit more because I don't want my hair to be too thick. The braids to be too thick and take longer to dry because this has to come out tomorrow. Uh, I do have work early in the morning, so probably not the best day to do it, but we're doing it and hopefully it's going to be dry, otherwise maybe I can have to work looking weird, we'll see, um, but let's get started. Okay, so this is my first section right here, it's not thin but it's not like super thick as well. Um, and I'm not going to go in with too much water because my hair is still kind of dampish and because I want it to dry faster, I can't make my hair soaking wet. So I'm just going to do it like that, quick, quick. And then I'm just going to get rid of any tangles that I might have and I'm using my sugar bear, like paddle brush vibes. I really like this brush. Okay, like that. Tangle free. So I'm first going to be going in with the Luscious Leave-In Moisturizing Butter. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Get it, get it, get it. So I'm not even using a lot as you just saw. Mm. It smells like, I don't know if it's kind of like that, um, that mango. What do I want to say now? The mango. It's like a fruit plus, like a mango fruit plus, if I'm not mistaken. Making sure that the product is evenly distributed through my hair. You know. I'm probably going to put some more water at my ends. Because that's where the wash and go part is. And you know, for wash and go, it really needs to be saturated. Saturated. <laughs> So next I'm using the Perfect Haze Perfectly Popping anti frizz Curl Activating Gel. It's kind of like a lightweight gel, not really sticky. So I'm just adding a little bit more of the gel focus on me on my ends mainly. Okay. 
Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna section this piece into three parts. And you want to try and make the parts as like even as possible. And then I'm just gonna start braiding it up. Nice and tightly, trying to smooth like as you go. Where would I want to stop? Like that. I think I'm gonna take my Denman brush now to like try and clump the curls. You know your goal doesn't mind some fritters. But I'm hoping it's gonna look cute. So it's actually more braid kind of than wash and go. But I think it's better to do it that way kind of safer, I'm hoping. But that's the first one and that's what I'm basically basically what is wrong with my voice? What was my pronunciation? No. Anyway, so basically that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of my hair. I'm gonna speed it up so that we're not wasting each other's time. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. I'm gonna bring it a bit close. So So it's not looking too bad, but I definitely feel like there'll be frizz at the bottom. Um I'm thinking I might just brush over the ends again you see like over here. Like the bottom is fine but that's super frizzy. So I'm gonna try and get them kind of like this. Um so I'm gonna do that real quick. So this is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna give you a quick spin in a room. So I'm not exactly sure how many. I don't know. We <laughs> we must dry. I'll check. Um, so basically, I'm gonna be chilling like this until tomorrow. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go to work like this and not look too cute. Um, Cause I don't want this to flop. I do um, feel like. Using the denim brush could have been a bit of a cheat because it helps to clump the curls nice at the bottom. But it's still, like, I feel like this side looks much better than this side. Um, yeah. 
but i'm gonna hopefully get this dry by tomorrow morning if not tomorrow afternoon and then come back take them down and show you guys the results give you guys my thoughts of the perfect hair products that i use so it's the next day and it's not the next morning it is the next afternoon so what was the time it's quarter to see and i went to work like this um Luckily, no one told me except for one of my colleagues, and I'm fine with seeing me looking like a mess. So this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna bring you guys closer real quick. So these ones at the back, that I sort of pinned back just so that I had some type of look. Um, kind of looked different because when I was using the Denman brush, it really formulated like a coil vibe. These three here in front. I wasn't actually busy coming loose now. But the rest is all like really looking like bread and go vibes, if you know what I mean, in terms of how I normally have a wash and go look. So I'm just gonna bring you guys a little bit closer to show you what it's looking like before we take it down. So as you can see, there's definitely frizz, but hopefully it's still gonna look cute. Because you know I like frizz, but usually when it comes to like braid outs and twist outs and stuff like that, I don't like frizz. Um, because it just doesn't formulate like the kinky afro vibe. So it has like a more fallen down, not as big look. So that's when I want it slightly perfect, but not exactly perfect. So we're going to see what we're working with here. I am going to take the perfect hairs all day maximize shine fabulous fruity finishing spray and i'm just going to spread some of this on my hands maybe some on my ears well not too much um while i do this yeah, it was like four spritz that was a bit much we don't need four I think two would work very well. Okay, so what's going to be tricky here is that you don't have proper sections as to where to loosen up, so it might be a bit tangly, and this is obviously going to cause frizz. But let's see how it goes. Just like gently pulling it apart, trying to find where the braid stopped. And obviously if you want to like really be neat with loosening the braid you can like sort of rewind your braid you know what i mean like that and this is what it's looking like not bad So, it's not looking too bad, to be honest. I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking at this point of the video. Are you thinking it's going to turn out good or no? Because I don't know. But whatever happens, we're going to lock it anyway. So now I'm just going to separate it further and um, pick and all of those good stuff. So, because my hands are still a bit oily i'm just gonna gently rub my fingers down the shock of my hair just to allow it to separate like where it wants to basically see there i'm not forcing anything i'm literally just separating where it wants to be separated
you know what you guys don't need another video on watching me how I separate or how to separate you already know what it is let's do it so this is my hair all separated now let me give you a little spinzy Um, excuse the shadow over me. The sun is supposed to come over and now I thought I bought the bottom of my window to make my shadow. It is what it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick my hair a bit and just sort of lay some edges over here and then yeah I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the products and do I feel like a bread and go works? Is it the vibe? Is it the thing? So they don't actually have like an edge gel vibe, but I've used gel for the um, the gel for my edges before, and it worked perfectly fine. It's just not like a strong hold. So this is just to look cute for you guys. Oh, it's try to look cute for you guys. You know, you know. So this is my final look. I think it's cute. I like it. I'm gonna spin again for you guys. So I think it came out better than what I thought it would come out. Um, basically for me what I like is that I have lots more volume than what I would have with a general like braid out. So there's more volume because it's a bit more frizz because of the washing apart. Um, I do think like the thought behind it is either you're gonna have a stretched out wash and go or you having a shrunken braid out kind of. Um, yeah, but I like it. I like the fact that it's stretched out and I didn't have to stretch out. So it's basically a stretched wash and go vibe that I have here. Um, then would I do this again? Would I, would I, I probably would, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't be like my favorite hairstyle to do, but I, I think I would do it again, just so that if I wanted a, like a more timid, um, like less afro -y kind of a look, then I'd do this, because it's like stretched and a bit more longer than what it is, like bigger, but it still has volume, if you know what I mean, if you know what I'm saying. Now getting into my thoughts on the products. So I'm gonna start off with packaging, of course. I'm gonna be biased when I say that I love the packaging because it's um, it's my favorite color. You know, it's my favorite color. Hello. It's literally like the color of my all. So I love the packaging. I love the size of the products. I think um, it's a decent size. It's 250 ml. Um, I do have an issue with the um what is this the lid part like it's not closing it's not closing right i don't know why but um yeah so now i don't know i'm storing it I'm, i've literally kept it like this so that it's not like this and running out i guess um then getting into the scent so they all have the same smell and it's really smells like mango it really reminds me of like mango fruit plus vibes or i'm convinced no back in the day when girls still used to smoke oka is there a mango peach flavor vibe because i feel like this reminded me of some type of thing to do with oka vibe so i think there's a flavor like this um but yeah it reminds me of like a mango fruit plus mango flavor type of vibe like that and also what i like about the packaging the fact that it numbers like each um product has a number on it 
so the number obviously um, indicates like how you should use the products one two three four um, and that is also why when I used the moisturizing butter and the gel that I didn't first do a test to see if they mix well together they obviously tried it together that's why it says use this and then use that type of vibe um, so getting into the shampoo so I definitely liked this um, shampoo it lathered up really well I really love shampoos that can lather I don't wanna I want to lather so I'm gonna have to wash my wash my wash my to try and get the lather I'm gonna do that and I didn't have to do that with this product it lathered up really well scent was the cleanse my hair my hair didn't feel dry afterwards so I like this shampoo then getting into the detangling deep conditioner and all of these products are petroleum paraben sulfate and silicone free just so that you know and it's vegan and it's proudly south african brand obviously if you didn't know it's a proudly south african brand um but the conditioner i like the consistency of the conditioner let me see if i can just let me see if i can show you a bit like it's it's creamy but it's not like super thick so actually it's a bit thin for a deep conditioner i think but i could detangle my hair real easily with it so i enjoyed that the dead slip so cool cool with that so the next two products i use with stylus and it is these right here so it is the luscious leaving moisturizing butter and it is the perfectly popping anti pits curl activated gel so i really love the moisturizing butter it is thick it's not thick thick but she's thick and it really moisturized my hair made my hair feel smooth and it, like my hair really absorbed this product really well um so i think this is actually my favorite product out of all the products that i tried this is my number one um and then i went over the um leave-in moisturizing butter with the curl activator gel and to be honest it's very lightweight like very lightweight like it's not the strong hold and i don't feel like on its own it will give you super super definition because i did feel like when i put it on my hair like i put the moisturizing butter on and my hair would feel very like moisturized and like this product on me and then once i applied some of the um, gel then it feel uh, almost as if my hair became very wet like watery in a sense like as i brush and you just see the water coming off so it was giving me that type of vibe so um i didn't really enjoy using the product because i felt like it was changing the way my hair was feeling in a sense but after once it dried my hair didn't feel like there wasn't any product on or like it was i just used water basically um, if i'm making any sense so as a combo they work well together the initial process i was iffy about it i was like this is this one gonna work should i just use the moisturizing butter on its own rather um i consider that i regret using it together then the last product is the all day maximize shine fabulously fruity finishing spray um and it says it's a silicone free frizz fighter injected with grapeseed and marula for high shine and glossy curls i like this oil like it's not lightweight but it's not too heavy so it's, it's a nice in between and i love that it's a, sp a spray like oil wise i don't want to put it in my hands actually i can just go like this and scrunch that's what i've been doing um like before going to bed in the morning so i enjoy this product if i have to give them a rating in terms of from my least favorite to my favorite my least it's gonna be a bit weird but my least favorite is the curl activator gel then i feel like the shampoo condition is on the same level then it's the um, finishing spray and then it's the moisturizing butter because i just love the texture of this and i love how moisturized my hair felt with it so that's my thoughts on these products i definitely suggest that you try it out i think it's a really good product i'll definitely use it again so that's my thoughts on these products and my thoughts on the braid and go so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up also comment down below if you tried these products before if you like the idea of a braid and go if you do a braid and go and what your thoughts are on my results and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like and i'll check you guys in my next one